Hey there, Dewdrops. It's Diane from Corvina. How are you? Happy Thursday. I think it's Thursday. Yes. Hope you're doing really well. Everything's good here in Cincinnati. It's kind of hot and steamy outside, but the sun is out and about. So I think that's great. All right, guys. It's Princess Week here at Coravina. Yesterday, we did a frozen scarf. It didn't really look like frozen. It didn't really look like Elsa. You know how that pains me. But today is a new day, all right? We have another scarf marbling challenge and it's gonna be awesome, okay? So we are doing The Little Mermaid. You guys voted on it. That's why we're doing it today. Let me show you our aerial colors. Boom, aerial, right there, okay? With some teal. And then I've got some accent colors here. I have a lighter teal, a white, and a light grapey color. Okay, so I'm pretty excited about this. I realized that I was rushing to get started and I thought about my colors, but not really about how we're going to do it. I am a princess. Hmm. I cannot see who wrote this message and I am so curious. Yeah, for you guys that didn't know, my new like software system doesn't show me your names and it's driving me nuts. So whoever you are, I believe that you are a princess. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to clean the surface of our tray and then we're going to get going and we're going to make a really beautiful aerial scarf. I am positive of this. Okay. Hey, Laura. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. <laughs> okay. Is this Laura Gellert? Happy birthday, Laura Gellert. It's Laura's birthday. <laughs> I hope you're having a really good day. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and split the screen and it is going to be a great scarf today. All right, here we go. We are gonna clean the surface of our tray with water like we always do. Here we go. We might go with like a standard feather pattern today. I don't know. We might keep it simple. I feel like I've been trying to get fancy the last couple of days. Can y'all see me? Is it in focus? I'm not sure it's I just want to make something really pretty. That's our goal today. We're just going to make something pretty. So we're going to start the same way we always do when we're applying our paint. We're going to go straight down the center of the tray here. And almost done. There we go. Okay, so we have red hair, purple seashells, and a teal tail. So let's just start dropping in that order. We'll do some red up top. See what ends up happening here. Okay. All right. This will help spread out our white. We've been working on this tray for a couple of days now. So you can see it's a little bit polluted and that's okay. It's gonna help us really see the color on a day with brand new water that white would have dissipated very quickly over the surface. It would have been hard to even see it. All right. And then we're going to come in here with our purpley purple. What a fun idea, Princess Week. I think multiple of you came up with that. Good job, guys. I have a friend. Carrie, who is in the, she's a dewdrop, um, but she's probably not watching us today because she is in Disney World, um, and they were saying on Facebook that Disney World is just very, um, very deserted right now. So I have never been. We haven't taken our kids, but we will one day, and hopefully it'll be empty <laughs> like it is with Carrie right now. There we go, thickening up some red for Ariel's red hair. She was one of my favorite princesses. I feel that many of you probably share this same sentiment. I was at the right age for Ariel, you know. Oh, I got a clogged bottle. Let's get this sorted out here. Nobody's got time for that. Here we go. Kind of bring it back a little bit, picking up some of our purple. And I started with the heavier teal 
So I'm going to come in with the lighter teal. We're just going to keep dropping in this order, I think. I don't think we're going to do anything fancy today with it. We're just going to stay traditional. I try to get fancy with Elsa. Elsa's colors are beautiful. They're blue and white. <laughs> I should have kept it like that. It's like one of those things. I never thought that I was like OCD about stuff until I started doing the show. And now I'm like, ugh, those colors don't match. So maybe we'll get an Elsa redo one day. I do not know. All right, I'm going to add some more of this color in. Give it a little bit of depth. I wasn't going to add an extra red, but I've got two blues. I do have two blue or two teals and two purples. So I'm going to pull this red off the shelf here and make sure that it spreads nicely. I'll do a little test area down here. Yeah, that'll be just fine. So we're going to have a darker red for red highlights or low lights since it's a darker red. Hey, Rhonda, how are you? Rhonda, your order shipped yesterday. And Sharon, if you're watching this, your order shipped yesterday too. I was a little bit late on yours, Sharon. But I um, meant to send you an email and I didn't. I guess the post office has been kind of crazy in my neck of the woods. So um, it should arrive hopefully soon. But thanks for your order. Rhonda, stocking up on those Christmas presents. They make great Christmas presents, I know. Got to unclog a bottle here. Oh, you got it today. Oh, I'm so glad. I had to like call down to my water company because I got charged like a really late bill that I paid. I don't know. I don't know if they've still cashed my other one. Turns out there's been like a big thing going on with my water company and getting the mail. So I was hoping it was not everywhere. All right, guys, I'm coming back in with this red just to thicken things up. I think it looks really even. I kind of like it like this. kind of looks like a flag. I guess this could be the Little Mermaid flag. But we'll play with it a little bit. Whoops. Going to have a big spot of red there. All right, so what shall we do? What we're going to do today is so we're going to start with this. Guys, I want to just take a second and marvel at how even my three lines are here because I don't think that I've made a scarf that looks this even. The lime green and purple one is spectacular. Oh, I know. It's really pretty, isn't it? It's really pretty. Rhonda got the, it was like a chartreuse and lavender floral scarf. It was like a yellowy green background with different purples in it, and it is really pretty. All right, guys, we're going to move this around here. Going to go nice and slow. And then Miss Laura Gellert got a special scarf from me. Her daughter-in-law and her husband got that together for her birthday. And Laura, I think I'm going to do the same pattern that I did for your scarf, assuming I can find my thing here. All right, because I tried something a little new with Laura's scarf. So I've got my really, this is the first marbling tool I ever made. Can you tell? Because it is made out of a piece of old uh, trim. I was just grabbing whatever I could find in the garage and it totally worked. All right, so we're gonna put this in the water here. We're going to do a long swirl. Not a swirl, you know, gentle wave. And then we're going to bring it back. So it's going to be kind of like a chevron. Concentrating on staying in between my lines here. Sorry, my arm is going to be right in the way, guys. So, it is day three of school. Everybody's okay. 
<laughs> today. Cora's still getting used to it. But she's on her way. She's doing good. And she's got a good teacher, lots of patience, and that is awesome. I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to fill this in because I think we missed a nail being in the water here. Gotta concentrate. <laughs> I'm moving really slowly and staying in between the lines. All right, so I love this. And we're gonna dip it down and see what we've got, okay guys? Mary Alice liked it. All right, awesome. Okay guys. Oh, I see some bubbles. I'm gonna pop those guys real quick. Have you ever noticed that I overuse the word, the term guys? wonder if this is a Midwest thing, because I find myself doing it all the time. All right, we are going to dip down our white silk scarf here. Think good thoughts for me. Ready, set, go. There we go. And we're in the water a little bit. That's okay. No worries there. I think that's a pretty good dip. And what does a pretty good dip mean? Pretty good dip means that my scarf dip it, that the scarf made it all the way in the water with no air bubbles. Because one of the only things that can go wrong when you're dipping it is you can get a little air bubble like underneath the corner. And if your scarf gets wet with water from the tray before the paint touches it, then you've got a clear or a white spot on your scarf. Fun facts for you. That's why some of the scarves have uh, lighter areas around the corners or white areas if it touches the tray and gets wet first. That's what causes that. All right, guys, so exciting. Okay, let's pull the scarf out of the water and see what we've got. I think it looks like Ariel. Let me switch your view here. Okay, let's pull it up and see what we've got. You're gonna see dripping or running. Looks like there's a lot of paint on the surface of this water. All right, let's see. One, two, three. What do we think? Does it look like Ariel? I think it looks like Ariel. I like it a lot. It is simple, yet there's a lot of detail because we've got the different colors, reds, purples, and teals, right? You can see the different tones. All right. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the rinse bucket. Maybe I should wear this and be Ariel as Halloween, for Halloween, I don't know. I joked about, we, had, we did like a Tiger Week or a Wildlife Week, like way back at the beginning of quarantine. And I joked about being Carol Baskin. <laughs> I don't know. That's still on the table. It might happen. All right, guys. This is Diane from Coravina. What happens now? Now I let the scarf soak. Then I let the scarf dry. And then I take pictures. And I post them so you guys can see it. And see how it compares to our original picture. All right. So I'll be doing that later tonight. And then we're going to come back. And tomorrow we are making the Beauty and the Beast scarf. Will it be blue and white for Provincial Belle before the Beast? Will it be golds and yellows for after she met the beast? I don't know yet. You guys will have to come back and find out. All right. So this is Diane from Corvina. I love you so much. Thanks for spending time with me. And I will see you guys tomorrow for one more awesome princess star. Remember to like or share this video. It's like giving me a hug. Helps more people see my stuff. All right. Goodbye.